welcome to this night prayer as we approach the celebration of the coming of Jesus Christ, a babe in the manger, Emmanuel. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Brethren, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast in the faith. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Let us confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done these things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant a most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of thy holy name. Amen. May the Almighty and most merciful God grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of all our sins. Time for true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come unto me, all ye that labour, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. We will now have our reading. The reading is taken from the Gospel according to St Luke, chapter 1, beginning at verse 39. And Mary arose in those days, and went into the hill country with haste, into a city of Judah, and entered into the house of Zacharias, and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost. And she spake out with a loud voice, and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in mine ears, the babe leapt in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a performance of those things which were told of her from the Lord. This is the end of the reading. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. And now we will have our prayers. Let us pray. 
As we wait, we watch, we give thanks for your promises about to be fulfilled, for your Son about to be with us, our Emmanuel. May we show our respect and gratitude for Mary, who gave up a normal life to be the mother of your Son, for Joseph, who stayed loyal to the family, for all who helped to bring your Son to a world in waiting, we have so much to be thankful for, as the old covenant is transformed into the shock of the new. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Send your Holy Spirit to renew your church. May the spark be kindled in people and institutions, as people take stock of the meaning of this time of year in between parties and making merry. Bring meaning to their lives as your Son brought mercy to the world. Like the shepherds in the fields, may we stay alert to events unfolding. Create in us a realisation that there is something greater to comprehend, a reality that surpasses our imagination. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. At this time of year we pray especially for the emergency services, for firefighters as they use their skills to safeguard and save, for paramedics as they bring urgent relief, for doctors, surgeons and nurses as they sustain life, for police who protect the community, for priests who bring urgent pastoral support. And we pray for people throughout the world who put their bodies on the line to protect the vulnerable and defend the weak, just as your son was protected as he came into the world, even in Bethlehem. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those caught up in fighting around the world. Bring peace to the war-torn countries where the civilians suffer the most and are often in desperate conditions. We pray for peace on earth, especially at this time. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let th those who are poorly in mind body or spirit, be encouraged in their fight to get better, in their search for relief from pain. We remember especially those who care for them and ask for your healing powers to make a difference in their recovery. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who have died, remembering especially those of us who have lost family members recently, as indeed I have. Give comfort to the bereaved and let fond memories remain after tears have been shed. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The Lord's Prayer our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise Him and magnify Him forever. 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commit my spirit. Thou wilt redeem me, O Lord, God of truth. Keep us tonight, O Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto Thee. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we, who are wearied by the changes and the chances of this fleeting world, may repose upon Thy eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this time. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We will lay us down and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only, that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for thee, O Christ. Come with the more dawning of the day, and make thyself known in the breaking of bread. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and preserve us tomorrow and in the days and the years to come.